Der Key für dieses Spiel wurde uns gestellt von Lurket.com. Vielen Dank dafür und nun viel Spaß beim Video. Servus und willkommen zu diesem Paul Tested mit Flo. <lacht> es wird nicht alles. Es passt einfach. So, willkommen zu Basement and Basilisk Storm of Sorcery. Ein Spiel, das seit diesem Jahr, dem 27. Februar, erhältlich ist. Seit diesem Jahr, dem 27. Februar, gutes Deutsch. Leider nur auf Englisch und Griechisch, da mein Griechisch leider äh, ein bisschen eingerostet ist und das Einzige, was ich verstehe, Malaka ist. Nein, ich werde das nicht übersetzen. Ja, versuchen wir es einfach mal auf Englisch und gucken einfach mal rein. So. Ich habe es noch nicht gespielt, das ist, äh, enter your player's name, ähm, Flori, Florison, Florison, genau. So, ich habe das Spiel vom Entwickler bereitgestellt bekommen, vielen, vielen lieben Dank an dieser Stelle dafür. Ich bin sehr gespannt, es ist ein Würfelspiel, Würfelrollenspiel irgendwie. So, ich habe gerade keinen Ton. Also ich, 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 ich glaube an der Stelle ist auch, noch, ist auch noch gar kein Ton. Spiel hat eine Musiklautstärke. Es wird doch wohl einen Ton haben oder sowas. Tipp! Ihr müsst auch gucken, dass der Kopfhörer eingesteckt ist, dann habt ihr Ton. Also, Darkness. You are alone. Flori Florenson. Jum Fighter. You have been warning for hours. Maybe even days. You can't tell anymore. What is it you are running away from? Wahrscheinlich die Rechnung. Are you running towards something? You do not remember. You shall not pass. <coughs> the only thing you know is that you must keep on running. Your feet hurt. You are short of breath. What do you want to do? Es geht, geht gerade ein bisschen mit mir durch. Ich entschuldige mich. I do nothing. I keep on running. I shoot for help. Oh God. Help. <coughs> uh, I mean help. Someone please help me. Your voice fades into the emptiness around you. No one answers you, please. You seem to be entirely on your own. Kaboom! Kadoosh. A flash of red... <coughs> a flash of red lightning in the distance. The valley around you is illuminated for a moment. You are in the middle of nowhere. Kaboom! Kedush. You see no landmarks. No buildings. Just a few trees here and there. All grace everywhere. And! Wait. Did something just move? I stay still. What is it? Wall sense for me, please. Hold the shuffle. Hold the shuffle. Fuck it, hold the shuffle. Äh, äh, also, ich muss die Maustaste auch äh, gedrückt halten. Lori Florenson Rolling Sands. Success. You see a fight you're moving in the shadows. Between lightning strikes. Kaboom! Kadoosh. One quick glimpse and it's gone again. Kaboom! Kadoosh. You try to follow it with your ace. Kaboom! Kadoosh. You think it just moved past you. Maybe it's not after you. The atmosphere grows sense. You find it hard to breathe. The air becomes damper by the second. You can feel the storm approaching. 
And then... It starts! Heavy rain falls from the sky as the storm roars. Thunder clouds move ever closer to you. You do not feel safe anymore! The sky is painted red by sparks within the clouds! The, brit the bright crimson formation moves as if it's breathing. As if it has a purpose. A bolt of lightning is heading towards you. Give me a quickness roll. Hold the shuffle. Hold the... Oh, also, yeah, most of it. <coughs> ah! A double four. <laughs> you jump backward right on time. You dodge the thunder strike successfully. Kaboom, Kadoosh. I fail. What the fuck? Kaboom. You move your eyes skyward. The thunder clouds are no longer amorphous. They colosk in a crimson spiral of wind and sparks. A terrifying yet beautiful sight. More beautiful than anything you have ever seen. As more and more thunder strikes hit close by, you realize you are surrounded. Short, hooded features chant in a strange language. English, wahrscheinlich. You see them fall on their knees on by one. One by one. Their hands touching the ground, their faces obscured. The storm grows stronger as the chanting continues. And I hear Paul screaming, Flo, shut the fuck up with your... <laughs> with your bad English. You look at the sky once more. The crimson thunderclouds stretch as far as your east can see. The entire of the valley is eliminated. The majesty of his set of the set has you frozen in place. You can do nothing but bask in its presence. As you marvel at the sight, oh Iron Man, you see the cloud spiral twitch. The TV. Hit up on you. Thank you. It slowly unfo unfolds as it moves higher and higher. And then you notice countless pairs of great featured wings spur out of the air itself. The serpentine cloud formation stretches as if it just awoke from a long slumber. A pair of powerful bright red eyes look down at you. The oh, fuck. You see a familiar looking city in the clouds. The storm look as if it's about to devour it. The devour. A, fi a fighter figure, a figure, a fighter stands among the buildings. A oh, fuck. Who could it be? This time lightning strikes right at you. You fall on the ground looking straight at Craig creature above you. You see it open its mouth and make a familiar growing sound. Kaboom, Kedush! You close your eyes, preparing for the beast's assault. I'd say all right. He cast thunderous boom one more time. Kaboom, Kedush! Wakey, wakey! Milky wakey. Time to wake up, motherfucker! Uh. Why are they, uh, they still asleep? Maybe someone cast nap time on them. Thank you for your spell list inside, Mr. Uh, know it all. What the fuck? Sorry if you're actually bothering to read the manuals. I am not an am amateur. I check it. No spell here. Fighter, you open your eyes to see three weird uh, fighters staring at you. Hmm. You are in the middle of a field. It is a bright rain. 
The sun is shining happily. Birds are flying overhead. No signal of monstrous storms anywhere. I cast thunder with boom! Yeah, except for that. Hey, stranger. I am Elena. Are you alright? Um, I'm fine, thanks. That's good to hear. Say, what are you doing out here? Spencer, it is really necessary? Is what necessary? All this banter? We get it, new player. Welcome to the party! Let's keep things moving! Don't you think we need to, to set the scene? Wouldn't it be weird for a fighter to just appear in your party? You had us find them in the middle of a field. It's like they feel from the sky. How is it any more natural? Can, you, can I just say I really like this development? Maybe there's a cool mystery behind them being here. Exactly. Elena gets it. At last, this didn't take place at a tavern. That's true. You do have a thing for tavern meetings, don't you? Don't you? You really do. When you said a new player was joining, I was immedi immediately on the lookout for a tavern. Tavern. I Gas them fa uh, falling from the sky is an uh, improvement. Maybe it's a feel from a tavern in the sky. I'm not that much into tavern meetings. Well, the rest of us did meet in a tavern. That's different. F uh, forget all that. Fighter! What were you doing sleeping in the middle of a field? No taverns around. I don't remember a tavern. Tavern. Just a storm. What storm? We have been out here for a couple of days already. The darn thing ain't showing. Did you really see a storm? Maybe the fighter can help us find it. <laughs> no, thank you. Find the storm? Fighters are only good at being walking shields. Never meet one that knew anything about magical storms. Let's just leave them here. I'm sure... I'm sure they can be uh, of some help. We don't need a tank. This sounds like a wolf to me. Keep the fighter. Leave the stray alone. That settles it. Then... Welcome to the party, friend. I hope you are good with a shield. Like there was a change in Guru, they wouldn't join. Can you stop complaining for five seconds? We should be we should be getting back. Riora will be worried. Aye. The real us must be scared all on your own. The halflings tougher than you are. Also, she knows we are investigating here. She will be fine. Who's Liora? We are uh, our boss. I wouldn't say boss. Let's say partner. She is paying us to do our job. She is uh, our boss. We are protecting her while she is looking for the storm. To be honest, I don't really get it. Why she hired us? I mean, we are in the middle of nowhere. What would be? Uh, what would she need protection from? Who knows? Better safe than sorry, I always say. Let's just head back to camp. Riora would like to meet a fighter yapping about a storm. Okay, son. You head back to camp. Shows you next step. Go back to the camp. The campsite. With your new companion in tow, you start heading... Sorry, can I make a note? Yes. I would love it if we could just start using the name. The fighter's name? Yes, they do have a name, don't they? Of course they do. It's on the sheet. Here, uh, Flori Florenson. That's a weird name. 
Geld gab es was. Was swung was Flori Florenson? Das fragen sich viele, aber die Antwort werden wir nie erfahren. Like Girls Cup is better. BM, can you remind me what the rules for fighting al uh, allies are? See so there aren't any... I see. Then I want to cast Pyro... <laughs> no! They aren't any because we are not doing that. No PvP? None at all. Not even a bit? No. Of course, I don't mean fighting to the death or anything like that. Go on. Just, you know, until someone maybe falls on them. Krieg's nicht mal ausgesprochen. No! Then we are at an impasse. Because as the current situation stands, I would really like to see Flor Florence on maybe sort of fall. Unconscious. Oh, we talked about this on se Season Zero. No in fighting. But, Girls Cup, cut it off, will ya? No cause for a fight. We need everyone at full strength. Danger may be lurking around every corner. Wir? Behind this rustling leaves over there? It is not wise to fight one Alice. One needs friends more than one does enemies. What was that? Are you testing one-liners? It's from this thing I'm working on. A book. And uh, never mind that. Flory Florenson is a good person. You shouldn't fight. Why do you like Flory Florenson so much? We meet them like 10 seconds ago. And we meet uh, you a season ago. Gus was making bad choices here. Fine. Let's hope you won't need a pyro ball anytime soon. With Flory Florenson in into, you are heading back to your campsite. Small gusts of wind stir up the grass around you. Everything is quiet. The grass is very tall. At place it reach over a meter tall. So on a scale of zero to Pebble, uh, we are talking Pebble plus? Plus? I. Another reason why we dwarfs be superior sharpshooters. Our ability to blend into na nature is uncanny. You traverse to grass fields for about half an hour. The grass is noticeably shorter here. You see a small hill adorned with flowers in the distance. On the top stands a massive solitary oak tree. The giant tree, giant tree looks ancient with the borders of centauries yet. Yet verdant and youthful like a young shapling. We remember, no need to repeat it. Flori Florenson wasn't here last time, you know? Yes, that was a very important detail they missed. Remember that, Flori Florenson. Ancient yet verdant. Write it down. Are we getting close to the hill? Big tree. <laughs> ich, also, es ist geil. Es ist, es ist unheimlich schade, dass das Spiel leider nicht auf Deutsch ist. Aber ich, ich, also, es reicht für mich, dass ich das mal. Ich verstehe das mal. Und ich mag den Humor. Und ich mag die Details. Zum Beispiel das hier. Meet Liawa. We are. <lacht> Ich, ich mag das, es ist echt cool, cool gemacht. Uh, are we getting close to the hill? Yes, you are. Look, Flory Florenson. I point towards to the hill. There it is. That's our campsite. The campsite should be one, one the other side of the hill. Did, uh, did you just say should? Should? I'm pretty sure uh, our uh, camp is on this side. On this side? No. You don't see it. It should be on the other side of the hill. Why do you keep saying should? We found Flory Flonson out west. And I remember Pavel insisting we camp on the west side of the hill. Aye, so that the sun wouldn't blind us come tomorrow. So you're right, Spencer. Not that it matters. But we did camp on the side of the hill. But then, how come your camp isn't here? 
climb the hill. Let's go up to the, the hill. Good call. Just to make sure there's nothing there. So, you notice a faint wisp of smoke coming from behind the hill. Wow, okay. Really committing to the camp is on the other side narrative. Let's just go check. The ancient oak. You climb the hill and see the remains of your campfire. This isn't right. Maybe we all moved the campsite. Why? Uh, oh. I asked Riaoya what she did with the campsite. Riaoya is not with you. Oh, right. Protect Riaoya? Weren't you supposed to, to look after her? And we are. Splendidly, if I might add. We left her right here. Where she, where she certainly still is. Right, BM? We are! We are back! Can you hear us? Silence. She's probably out for a piss. Fellas. Don't say it. Lassie. Where are ya? By the well trying to save little Timmy. You neither hear nor see anyone. Oh. Ah! Stop! Gut, dass sowas geht. I think we lost Riawa. What? No! They real us should be just around the hill. You frantically search around the hill. But there is no signal of Riawa like spark anywhere. Just the remains of your camp and a large patch of burnt grass. Damn it, people! We had one job! Just one! Protect the halfling! Relax, Elena. You see, there is no way this is uh, our fault. Excuse me? We were supposed to look after her? And we lost her! Correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But she was the one who insists that we leave her behind. Wax Spencer? Yes. This makes here this disappearance least of a mistake. It's almost as if it's their waterfalls. A power behind our control. Compelling her to say this words. Some are now all seeing godlike uh, feature. That needed events to transpire in this particularly way. Tears 4, we never had any against to begin with. Wag BM? That's not where. You are correct, Goldscap. I am sorry for being so blind. The essence and the lifeblood we weave the threads of fate. We are but mere puppets in the grand design of the cosmos, trapped between the everlasting clash of order and chaos. We cannot be held accountable, accountable for the disappearance of Riora Light Spot. We can merely play the roles assigned to us. To us. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Wait a second, Goldscap. Didn't he say you set up some protective wards just in case? Weren't you listening? Riora is gone and it's not uh, our fault. Especially not mine. We can merrily play the world's segment to us by the goddess's power. power. But the wards? What part of mere puppets don't you understand? Not our fault. Find Riora. Find the storm. Find Riora. So, are we going after Riora? Ob 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 Klingt das nicht ausgesprochen. What? Why? She is our charge. We needed to find her. No, we don't. Remember your speech from earlier? You know, the one about fate? Yes. Fate will it that we should, should lose Riawa. That doesn't mean we won't find her again. I will side with Elena on this one. Oh, come on. The Häuflings are shot as Elena put it. 
Plus, she hasn't paid us yet. And I'm a wee bit low on coins. But do you always disagree with me? Not always. Only when you are wrong. Or being stupid. Okay, maybe always then. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just leave right now. Why are you here, Girls Cup? Why is anyone here in Karl Trian? The Adventure? The Loot? It's a right and variable campaign, campa campaign setting. The storms are made of magic crystals. And how is ab abandoning an expert in that said storms are a good idea? Come on, it's not that hard to find a storm. Not without a good tracker. But there to track. You go wherever it's Claudia. Look over there. I point towards the mountains in the distance. I will just head to the hollow mountains. They say that the storm is more potent uh, there. So, so, so. If you can climb all the way up there, I'm quite good and fight anything trying to stop you. I will cast P and find enough supple supplies to last the trip. There's a, and then you will have to figure out a way to harness the storm's lightning without getting hit by it. Dying alone, laying there among the snow and frost. Yeah, need us, old man. Even if you don't like it. And the halfling too. A spitzel is spitzel. Geil. Ah! Guck an. Okay, people. This debate has gone on long enough. Flori Florenson is falling asleep over there. No, it wasn't. No need to ap uh, ap apologize. You swear are sleepy, Flori Florenson? Maybe their body doesn't agree with the air down here. Since they feel from the sky and all. So? I think we should put this wall and we are our thing to our road. Es tut mir leid, ich will den Halbling finden. Really? That happened again? Alright, let's go and find that stupid storm chaser. I will tolerate your annoying presence uh, till then. Don't get me wrong. I don't need you. I have been tough wars alone. You will just help me reach my goal faster. Yeah, have a goal. Good enough for, for me. Okay. Let's find the real uh, lazy. What else do we see around? Other than the big patch of burnt grass? Yes. Nothing else of interest, really. Just the remains of your campfire. And a big patch of burnt grass. This is useless. Maybe the burnt grass is a clue. Maybe it is. Yes, the burnt grass next to our campfire. Elementary, uh, elementary, my dear Elena. Viora can just have disappeared. There must be footprints leading away from here. I will take a closer look. Has anyone left this campsite by foot? No, for all you know, no one left this campsite by foot. Trust me, folks. No one left this campsite by foot. We we heard. We heard. Look, folks. The narrative needs to move forward somewhat. Obvious. Obvious. This is not a dead end. There must be a way out. We just don't see it. Pavel, you are the tracker here. What do we do? This is a very hard situation, my dear Galskap. Never in, in all my years of experience as a sharpshooter have I ever found a scene with less clues. It's really not that bad. Unle uh, unleash. Yes. Of course. Yes. It's obvious. Es ist offensichtlich. Pavel looks at the tree. Go on. It's quite simple, really. We are all ears. We talk to the tree. You what? We what? We talk to the tree. 
I have wildlife speech. <laughs> which means you can tame wildlife. As in birds and stuff. Oh, but my dear BM. According to the basement tier Okay, das hat eben ein Regelbuch. Saarländer reden auch mit Bäumen, das passt. A sharpshooter of Elven origin may use wildlife speech to communicate with trees and other flora. But you are a dwarf. We raised by Elf. Aufgezogen von Elfen. Was? So technically, alright, alright. Let's play along. What do you propose? Three things this we can't even imagine. Oh mein Gott. Also, Leute, wenn ihr wissen wollt, wie dieses Gespräch mit dem Baum endet, oder ob es überhaupt losgeht, dann schaut doch selbst mal Spiel rein, denn, also, ich find's geil. Deutsche Übersetzung. Gut, okay, da, bitte, bitte macht eine deutsche Übersetzung. Aber ich finde die Spielidee und die Umsetzung finde ich richtig geil. Richtig gut. Also da, ich krieg da richtig Lust auf den Pen and Paper, muss ich sagen. Weil die Runden laufen genauso ab. Kurze Story, äh, ich habe mit einem Freund, äh, mit ein paar Freunden mal Pen and Paper gespielt. Ich weiß nicht mal, äh, was es war, muss ich sagen. Es war nicht Dungeons and Dragons. Das schwarze Auge? Ich glaube, das schwarze Auge war es gewesen. Und da war eine Situation, da war ein Drache und ein Freund wollte den als fesseln. Und der Spielmaster war irgendwann so genervt und hat gesagt, wenn du diese Würfe in der Reihenfolge alle erfolgreich abschließt, dann hast du ihn gefesselt. Und der wirft das allerbeste Ergebnis. Und hat den Drachen wirklich dann gefesselt. Wo der Spielmeister auch sagte, du, äh, äh, du hast es geschafft, den Drachen zu fesseln. Und weder der Drache noch irgendein anderer äh, in dieser Runde weiß, wie zum Teufel du das geschafft hast. Ja, jetzt kann ich ihn tamen. Äh, wirf mal das und das, den verkackt er. Der Drache befreit sich, weil ein einfaches Seil den verdammten Drachen einfach nicht hält. So, mit diesen weisen Worten beende ich die Aufnahme von Paul Tested mit Flo. Schaut einfach mal rein in dieses Spiel, wenn ihr Pen und Paper mögt, weil den Geist von Pen und Paper, finde ich, kriegt dieses Spiel echt gut rüber. Großen, großen, großen äh, Pluspunkt und Respekt meinerseits an äh, den Entwickler. Also, macht es gut, liebe Leute. Ich wünsche euch einen schönen Sonntag. Bis dann und ciao.